California has been hit hard by a very long drought, and according to NASA, we are at a very critical point. The sunny state is down to only enough water to get us through the next year. In an op-ed piece in the Los Angeles Times, Jay Famiglieri, a senior water scientist at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, was very, very clear about the state's water crisis. California, he writes, has lost around 12 million acre feet of stored water every year since 2011. He criticized Californian officials for their lack of long-term planning beyond staying in emergency mode and praying for rain. Famiglieri asked for immediate mandatory water rationing and the formation of regulatory agencies to monitor groundwater. He also blames global warming and the excessive and unsustainable groundwater extraction for agriculture as the main culprit. And he said this, I quote, as our wet season draws to a close, it is clear that the paltry rain and snowfall have done almost nothing to alleviate epic drought conditions. January was the driest in California since record keeping began in 1895, and groundwater and snowpack levels are at all time lows. Nick, this is a very, very serious situation. We are facing, um, in the very near future, a complete shift in how we experience life here in the sunny state in California. Yeah, and I have to agree with Jay Famiglietti mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, the lack of planning. Yes. I know that I grew up here in California, and since I can remember, uh, droughts have always been something that people have been talking about, conserving water. It's always been something that has been in the back of people's minds, but now it just went, you know, to a whole nother level. Yeah. Like we're talking like we have one year of water left. Like it it's just insane. got really serious really quick with not a lot of room now for planning. So now we gotta, we gotta figure something out. We're in that position where it's like, well, figure something out. And we need to because an important part of this is what's gonna happen to the popular opinion when they are forced to endure conditions that are associated with the socialist world. Like having your water cut down for several hours every day. You know, in Central America, throughout many, many years, even Mexico and other countries, they had to live with these situations uh, because of the political regime that decided to behave that way. But now we're facing a, a fact of science that we're running out of water. We might have to live this way because California, it's one of the main uh, sources of food for the whole country. Mm -hmm. there's, there's certain food items in, in the food supply that California amounts up to a 90% of the production for the whole country. Garlic, wild nuts, certain things that you know, people might have to go without or have to pay enormous amount of money to get them because we run out of water and you know, uh, our agriculture is taking a hit. Yeah, one thing that I've always thought about, and I've just been reminded of this, uh, do you ever go to Palm Springs? Yes. If you go out, Palm Springs is about an hour and a half east of LA, maybe two hours, whatever. You go over there, it's dry, it's desert. They also have the same problem over there. Mm -hmm. And what do you see the most of over there? Huge, sprawling golf courses, beautiful green grass that needs to be watered so much yeah. more than here because it's in the desert. And it's like, well, hello, exactly. hello, what are we doing? And it, you look at a map of LA, for example, it's the same exact thing. Okay, fine, I understand. Wealthy people like to play golf, so a lot of people don't talk about it as being a bad thing that's causing a problem because mm -hmm. it's a lot of wealthy people that are funding it. But what about who can use these golf courses? For example, in LA, you see a huge piece on the map of green, cut out, blah, 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 country club. You, no one can go in there. Those like the 200 members. people can use yeah, it. Exactly. And look how much water they're using for such a small amount of people who can actually enjoy it. It's a total waste of money and it is ridiculous. Well, maybe soon we'll have to see where everybody aligns to you know, conserve water because now we need to because they're cutting our water supplies. Here's the facts. Several mountain stations across California have registered the lowest snowpack ever. So that resource of water is, is almost gone. But the thing is that the worst is yet to come because according to NASA, Cornell University and Columbia University, they all got together and they did a research that what is coming in the future is even worse. They think that starting in, in around 2050, we're gonna see mega droughts that are worse than the one that we're seeing and they last even longer, 10 to 15 years, each one of them. So what they're saying is that if we don't do something right now, we are going to see the certain 
conditions in most of the state. If you see, there's some pictures, you know, before and after of how the, the, the level of the water has dropped in, in, in lakes and, and some res reservoirs. And it's, it's really, really sad that this happened in three, four years. Like yeah. you said, it's, it's happening so fast and it seems like we're not doing enough. So let us know what you think in the comments. You think that it's, a, it's the right thing to do to make it mandatory to conserve water. Let us know what you think and subscribe to the Leap TV.